Hello and welcome. I'm going to do a little video on using Linoit or Linoit as I like to call it. Um, it's a great little tool, great, great for um, collaboration. It's a fantastic tool for tutors. I saw it's really good for companies or businesses to use as they like. And the beauty of it is the free version does just about all you need to do. Although you can upgrade, but there you go. Right, so basically you go and look for it's enlinoit.com. There it is, that one there. Click that off because I'm already there. Put a badoo. Here we go. So it's as simple as um you can have it for your phone, you can have it for your Android, you can learn lots of things about it. It's really quite brilliant, is all I can say. There's a little video about it, and then there's lots of ideas that you can get. So um basically what you do is you go and sign up. And you're going to need a username, password, email address, the standard stuff. Um, I hate to say it, but if you're a robot, you might have trouble registering. So what I'm going to do is, further away, bring this one over here. So here we go. We've already got a, a lineage. And as I said, uh, that's the Linoit website. Right, so... First one, create an account. Well, we've done that, so I can... The little tick single peel off means I can get rid of that. Right. Two, uh, create a canvas. And remember your preferences. So, oh, look. Duplicated that. We'll come back to that in a minute. I think that was deliberate, actually. So, when you create one, it's as simple as create a new canvas... Um, give it a name, a name, choose your background, uh, it could be a bit bright, here we go, whatever. Um, now you can make it for your own use, you can have your stickies for everyone. Everyone may post stickies is what I tend to use it for myself. And then you just go off and you create your canvas. Lovely. Right, well, I'm just going to go back to mine because I already have one that I'm using today, which I actually just created earlier. So, um, there we go, create the canvas. We've remembered that, the little tick, peel it off, done. Right, uh, post a sticky, type, post and delete. So, to post a sticky, you head up here to choose one of the four colors. Let's have a red one. Um, and it will appear down here. Now I can change the background. I could go into, uh, that's a nice color, yeah. Uh, this is a nice colour. Whilst I'm there, I can change the font size. have a really little one. So you've really got to get close to the computer. Let's go sensible. But I can also change the um, font colour. And I can just go post. There's a couple of other features we're going to look at in a minute. Post, and it appears on the board. Brilliant. Great. Now... If I want to oh, to move it, as you can see, I hover over it, and when I get the little hand symbol, I can move it. Now, you can move your own stickies, um, and the host can move their own stickies. So if you have guests, they can move theirs, but they can't move other people's. So uh, we're done with that. Let's take that one away. So we've done that. Okay, we don't need that. All right, put a pin in it. Well, see, that's a little bit bigger. I'll just resize that. Oh, that's how you do that. Right, you just, um, to put a pin in it, when you hold yourself at the top, a pin will appear. And that just stops it moving and being moved around the board. We'll take that pin out, because uh, I'm always a bit short on pins. There it goes. Uh, and we go, bye-bye, we've done that one. Okay, let's come over here. Oh. Five, add an icon. So when you're creating a post-it, let's go and get one. Um, you also have the um, the ability to put an icon on it. So we can have a happy face or a football or um, a cup of coffee. That'd be quite nice. I could do with a cup of coffee. Coffee. And now you see that the little icon has appeared there. Um, so we can just get rid of that one. Um, and there I got one with a smiley face on. The smiley faces are always good. 
Uh, what have we got now? Let's just pull these over. If I'd been organised, I'd have put these into a correct sort of order. Where are we just, oh yeah, font size and colour. I mentioned that on the previous one, so um, if I wanted to edit this, by the way, there's a little pencil. Click on the pencil. So I've got the font size, which I talked about. It's down there, changing the font size. It's going very small. Um, and I can change the font colour. We can have a bit of pink. I'm not sure that looks so good on there. Yellow. Ugh. How about white? Oh, there we go. Save. Job done. Right, well, I don't need that anymore. You know how to do that. Bang. Uh, post an image or a file. Oh, I said about delete. Um, I've got two here that are duplicated. This one here, I just press the tick button, peel it off, and that's deleted. Lovely. Great. So, posting an image or a file. Well, as well as the post-its across the top, I've also got this one, which I'll show you. This one, which is file. That's video, which I can't get to use. So if you can, do let me know, because it doesn't seem to like it when I do it. Could just know that it doesn't like me. Uh, and here we go. We've got pictures. So this one here, image. Okay, that's now going to... Um, I'm now going to go and browse and find an image on my computer. Um, so we've got an image of... Click, select, open. OK, so there's an image of, um, actually, nice little, we'll pop, we'll pop that on here. Um, just remind you, look, there's um, tasks and my groups and create a canvas. Right, OK, change your mind. I don't want it. Um, or I could post a file. Oh, that's quite useful. Here with the little paperclip symbol, attach. Universal word, for, you know, universal symbol for attach. Uh, and I just attach it. Okay, and there you go. I've selected it on my computer, and there's a one for cake. Always a good idea. When is it not a good idea to have a cake recipe knocking around? And obviously, it's as simple as click on it, and then you get to open that. Okay, well, we won't do that now because um, it's probably not really cake time. Right, so posting an image or a file. The video is the one here. When I try my um, YouTube ones, it just has trouble finding them for some strange reason. Right, post that off. Oof. Spin it about. Oh, yeah. When you've got your hand waving around the screen, when it goes into the top right corner, you'll see that you can actually start twisting them about, which is quite fun. Bits, you know, a bit jaunty. Mm -hmm. Anyway, getting C6 and that one can go. Uh, move a group. Oh, yeah. Now I've got to remember how to do this. Um, I think. See, now I've got three here. If I go shift, shift, shift. Sorry, shift, shift, shift. Keep the shift button down. And now I move them all as a group. I'm glad I remembered how to do that. What would it look like about Muppet otherwise? Well, there we go. I am, but never mind. So, there we go, we've moved a group. Set a due date. Uh, dun, dun. So, okay, let's create an important one, okay? Um, bake the cake, uh, which is very important, that needs to be done. So we set a due date, and we put it down, um, well, put it down for tomorrow. Um, better put it on the nice big red one. Go post. So now you can see on that one it's given me this due date. Um, it's a little trip with that a little bit further on, but we, I can think I can. Well, I better keep that because I might not remember. Um, oh, look, this one was due to be done by tomorrow. It's done now, so fine. Oh, I've got a secret private note. This post it over here is blank. Well, it's not actually bank, because when I go over it, it tells me something to, you know, try to make sure I set the preferences correctly this time, which is something I often do wrong. And it's as simple as, I don't want to tweet or share it, so here we go. Go here, I'm going to create a private one. This is private, no entry, post. So there it is, oops. Uh, don't do that. I'll come back to that in a minute. Shh, getting ahead of yourself. 
there we go when I'm on it you can see it when I'm not it's gone ha ha and we'll just get rid of that I don't want that anymore great so that's private brilliant and that can go tags oh wow um I've put a little tag on here so when you put a tag on something let's put a tag on something okay so the tags you just add a tag here like so um, and then when I click on that tag any other one that is also that tag will appear see now only these ones these are the ones that are sharing that tag it's quite nice isn't it okay uh, turn that off get rid of that okay refresh your screen to see new stickies uh, refreshing your screen up at the very top of your browser it's different on different browsers it's a little circle with an arrow on the end of it that just refreshes your screen when you're using one of these collaboratively um, you have to refresh your screen occasionally so that you can see the new stickies that have been posted bye bye Send a sticky. Ooh, remember somebody had some homework? Here it is. I'm a bit forgetful. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send that. Okay, now I would type the email address in there and click send. So here, uh, you might have trouble seeing that. You might have to scroll in. But basically this is it saying I have an invitation from... So I'm to join Lino and there's the sticky and it says um, yeah it sends a sticky so it goes straight to my email I could click on it and see what it was but let's not do that I know about the cake oh let's get the cake oh we're cleaning this up screen quite nicely uh, so we've sent the sticky share is the same thing so that click on the name send the sticky so you share it oh share your whole in of it that's coming at the end you're sneaking up here eight i wonder where nine ten eleven twelve and all of those have gone resize to resize the sticky it's as simple as the bottom corner moving it around so this one over here is one that i altered earlier so i can click that i can click that and those are gone now okay so um i do seem to have misplaced a few just bear with me a second whilst i go and find them actually i don't think i had missed any um i think we were talking about them so anyway there's another one that i've forgotten which is no background color so the other one by the pictures video um files is uh, a blank one so it has less info so it's no background color and I see no background color cool um, you can also post in um, web links so on here uh, help frequently ask questions for Linet or Lino canvas or about Linet stickers which is quite nice because it gives you all the information I'm giving you now click boff opens the thing for you lovely it's a nice little trick isn't it now then um, setting up your own canvas um, just gonna repeat that just in case I forgot to do the um, settings so to set one up you go to my page which is at the top that little house symbol and we go create pick a background name okay everyone so i'm going to make this my own private use so this is now slightly different because from my own private use um, and that means that other people can't post stickies on it so uh, in the situation in the situation that um, you think you were collaborating and you found out you weren't there's this I information and this is how we're going to share our linnet in a minute but up there I've got the preferences 
So I can then go back and change those preferences to make it work. Okay. But in this case, I'm just going to delete this canvas because I don't really need it. I'm okay. So um, go back to three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Okay. A uh, couple of other little images that I got knocking about. Let's just see if there's anything interesting on them. Uh, we can have it small, medium, or large. Let's go large. Uh -huh. And then perhaps uh, let's open up a folder over here. Oh yes, this is quite a useful one. I think we'll we'll have that one, which we can talk about in a minute. Okay, and I'm going to post another one. I'm going to do, oh no, cancel. Do uh, another picture because I think I saw one there that was a little bit useful. Let's go large. Browse. It's opening up a folder on my other screen. So this one here. Okay. Oops. So this one here I wanted to talk about. This was the little command area which I've been going up to there. Um, house takes you home. I gives you the information. Question mark gives you some help, and you can also log out. So um, that's and it's showing you uh, your different colours. As a note, what I didn't say is when you go to pick a colour, there are more colours down here. So I could have okay, and this up here will remember the last four that you've sort of used. Okay, well that's quite useful. I think what we might do is we might copy that to another canvas. And we might copy that to something called end result. Okay, let's get rid of it. Um, now, oh look, sticky is being removed. Bye bye. Okay, now this one here is how you share it. So, um, it's the I information. Okay, let's just take rid of that. So, you can embed it. Um, you can HTML link it, but the most common one you're going to be using is um, the URL. Click on that, paste, or copy, sorry, and then you can just paste that to everybody who you want to share it with, which is quite nice. And there it is up there, that one there, if ever you really feel as though you want to find this one. Um, lovely. And you can put that in an email or um, by message, whatever. Um, yeah, I think, you know, I, I, th I think we might have, um, I think we might have cracked it for this one. Oh yeah, sorry, share your line of it, which I've just done. There's also this um, copy to another canvas. So if I just copy that to something called um, um, end result, he says, um, and it says the sticky has been copied. And on the end result one, if I then... Uh, there we go. Actually, it was already there, so I can cross it off. There's number 16. So here's a reminder of all of those things. Um, there's a the little jaunty image. Let's make it a little bit jaunty. Ooh, it's exciting. Okay, so create an account, create a canvas, post a sticky. Remember, you can type and post and delete it. Put it a pin in it just to uh, leave it where it is, add an icon, and you can have the same icons on things. So um, I also put an icon over here for due date. Oops, tomorrow. Font size and color, post image, resize, spin it about, move a group, set a date, private note, which was the one where you don't get the background. Um, tags, this is in this case, Lino, so in this particular case, Lino, when I do this, everything except the little picture will appear. Yeah, and the picture's being faded out. Um, and then refresh your screen, remember that little trick up there. Send, you send it to the person, and then you can also share your whole Lino, Lino it. Okay, well, thank you very much, that's it. I hope you found it useful. If you like it, just, you know, do a like on the video, um, I'll post a comment. Okay, bye.